right, this is it. The final video in this entire series of the Sunday morning skate on day three of the Philadelphia Free Skate. I'm looking up at the Rouse buildings or Liberty Place as they're now known. When they were originally built, they were the Rouse buildings. It was a big to-do back in the 80s when they were built. So if you're looking up with your 360, you can see us passing by them now. We're skating under them. This is Liberty Place on the left there. And essentially no building up until 84 was under a gentleman's agreement, ever going to be built higher than Billy Penn statue on top of the city hall. And essentially when when this was put up, it, it got a lot of pushback, of course. But the, the first tower, when it went up, was, was pretty enough, was good looking enough for all the critics to kind of back off and say, you know what, this did not run the city after all. Now you see tons of other buildings going up. But the fact is, when it was built, it was... Um, it was a it was a big discussion you know throughout the region about you know its importance its validity and of course Rouse was you know a volatile character that building that that entire complex there Liberty Place has changed ownership and changed tenants so many times over it's not even funny since the 80s uh, <clears throat> there's people who have lived in there like Cole Hamels from the Phillies uh, Bon Jovi a lot of other notables uh, essentially as money issues came up during that time, uh, in the 90s, the original uh, investors and such, they they were looking for ways to make money, and they, they, they leased out a bunch of the floors at the top, I think, of the second Liberty Place building, and uh, that's when all the condos went up, and so now they're all worth, you know, in the millions up top. I think even some Comcast uh, ownership probably lives up there for all I know. So that's what you pay for a good view in Philly. We are working our way, which I thought was back towards the hotel. I dropped off right here. You're going to see me take a seat because I had an issue with a wheel coming loose, uh, an axle, I believe. Or maybe it was my frame. I think it was the wheel. And um, I assumed they were at the hotel anyway, and I was just going to have to skate up uh, the Ben Franklin Parkway to my car. So this is kind of strange. I assume I've left all the skaters. So I double back up the street that I just skated down to the stoplight, take a right onto ben, the Ben Franklin Parkway. Of course, right now you're probably watching me fix my skate. That'll give you something to do if you're looking. And when I get to the Ben Franklin Parkway, I skate down the street, and lo and behold, a number of the skaters who did not, I guess they dropped off at the hotel, uh, were left at the hotel while the other skaters skated onward. So here I am. I've just caught up with all the skaters by accident, and I believe we are at Logan Circle here on the Ben Franklin Parkway. You can see the library there in front of us. I have, one of these days I'm going to have to ask all these people what in the world they're standing in line for. They're there every Sunday. They're like a bunch of homeless people, and I don't know what they're waiting for. I don't know if it's some sort of bus that takes them to uh, a shelter or, or what, or if it drops off food. I, I just don't know. I should ask. I just didn't want I you know I didn't want to be that guy you know so what are you standing here waiting for? Um, <clears throat> I mean I think everybody deserves our dignity. So it's one of those things where I just don't know what to say and how to say it. So I'd rather not put my foot in my mouth. So there's the library on the right there behind the fence. And on the other side is going to be if you look around Logan Circle there to the left there is that is the Franklin Institute. And there's a lot to it. It's a large complex. I personally <clears throat> don't get a lot out of it. it. You know, I mean, it, if you're not in fourth grade, then it really doesn't have a whole lot for you unless they bring in one of their big, you know, expositions. And even those can be overpriced. I remember the Lego exposition was like $70 a person. It was nuts. I think it was almost like 300 bucks for myself and, uh, you know, the, the girlfriend and the son and, Thankfully, my oldest son was old enough he didn't have to go. That would have been close to $400 to look at Legos. You get the idea. It's like, what's going on in this world? I could play paintball for weeks on that money. Bought a new pair of skates, two pair of skates for some, in some cases. So we've just jumped off of uh, North 20th Street, and we're skating through the Barnes Foundation now. And I think we come around the backside of it just because it's like a skater's type of experience as opposed to seeing anything at the foundation 
I don't believe they have but like one item outside for you to look at. Everything else is inside. And again, this is a art museum. And on the other side of the Barnes Foundation is the Road, Road Museum. So you've got, and I don't know if they've, I know they don't have the real Roden outside, but they have the thinker out there somewhere. When I say the real Roden, Jesus, the real, the real thinker. Roden being the artist. Almost sounding like I'm uncultured because I can't get my words out right. But uh, skating up this road here leads uh, to where the, the Whole Foods is and Spring Garden. And uh, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm parked up on Pennsylvania Avenue. Again, if you're coming up to these skates, part Pennsylvania Avenue near Spring Garden and Green Street, you know, off of, um, off of Kelly Drive there, that's the, that's the place where you want to park or the places you want to park. And we are just about done this skate. I'm surprised I didn't just skate into uh, the Whole Foods on the way by and grab myself some pickles or something to to deal with any you know leg cramps or fatigue and such. But the Whole Foods, uh, they're not like um, Acme Markets or other places that are cool. You go in there with a pair of skates on and they have a cow, you know, the security guard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. I'll skate in if I've got like shoes or flip-flops to put on, sandals, and then change my shoes right there in the foyer, but I can't go into the store and just pick up my food and go through line. They, they're they just too uptight for that. Skater's rights, man. So we're winding this skate up. We, uh, we're all beat. This is 50 miles I've put in this weekend between these... Uh, uh, four skates. Let's see, one, uh, two on Friday, one on Saturday. Four skates. Seemed like a lot more. Covered a lot on video, though. So now we're skating past the um, the Thinker here at the Roden. And uh, right here, it's on the right. See him? We're going by him. Let's go look at the Rodan. And I have tons of people when I'm up on Pennsylvania asking me, where's the Rodan? Where's the Rodan? It's right over there. All right, I'm skating up. I think I want to say this is 23rd, maybe. Oh, goodness. I think it's 23rd. No, it's um, it's 21st still. I'm sorry. Because the Whole Foods is going to be right there. Or this is 22nd. 22nd. The Whole Foods is right at the top of this. You can see how important it is to me that the Whole Foods is so important. So Whole Foods is going to be on the right there past this bus. This big building. And it's pretty cool because they have um, they built this whole complex. There's, there's condos above it. If you're living there, you're living large. Just go downstairs to the Whole Foods. Parking in the bottom. So this is the uh, Pennsylvania Avenue that I speak so highly of in terms of where you can park. If you're coming up here to skate. I hope you enjoyed these. Please share these videos. Uh, share some videos. Find a Danger Man video of some sort that you liked and please share it. Help me grow the channel. Help, uh, help me help you. I will stop making these things if they're not getting enough views. It's just of no consequence to me to do this. Actually, my, my ultimate goal is to win the Beautiful Human Being Award. So what is the Danger Mobile look like? Is it that VW? No. Danger Man drives a Jeep. A Jeep. He drives a Jeep. No, actually, it's a minivan. A minivan. No, it's just a mini. All right, folks. See you next time. Share these videos. Like them. Comment. Thank you. It's too much for any man.